welcome back. So today's video is gonna be something that's really personal to me. It's about my allergies. And I don't know if everybody on here knows, but I am deathly, within like a few seconds, allergic to dairy, eggs, tree nuts. I'm also allergic to celery. And it's a weird one, I know, but it's actually the number two allergy in the UK underneath wheat. So even my cousin is actually allergic to celery, so I don't know what that's about. But, you know, something mostly made of water, of course I'm allergic to. I'm allergic to everything outside except for two types of mold. I constantly sneeze, my eyes constantly water, I can't have a real Christmas tree, hence the white one, which only has two ornaments on it. As you can see, this one up here that I got, I don't know if you can see it all that well, but it's of Michael and I's engagement. It was just two nights ago, I was sitting here on my couch, watching Gordon Ramsay with my fiance, Michael, and all of a sudden, my face starts itching. And it starts feeling swollen and then I run my fingers across and it's covered in hives. I'll put a picture up of what it looks like right about here. Um, very bad. So I thought, I don't, it's a Monday, like I gotta go to work, like come on. So it, 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 thank God it was early in the night. So I took two Benadryl, got a shower, scrubbed my face down, and it was actually getting worse. It was traveling towards my eye. It was taking over my nose and my ear, but it didn't leave the left side of my face. And my lip had two white dots on it. So I don't know what the heck happened. I didn't touch anything. Michael hadn't had anything to eat. He was sitting next to me. I was just sitting here and I hadn't eaten anything for an hour. I had Rice Krispies. I can have Rice Krispie treats like it, the, the cereal. I don't I have no clue what happened um got a shower washed my face and my lip was still puffy it was starting to go down and it was still puffy but the, there were no more bumps so get out of the shower I'm on the phone with my mom the whole time because she always wants to know what's going on when I have an allergic reaction like that she kept telling me to do my EpiPen my friend Leanna kept telling me to do my EpiPen I'm like no I'm gonna wait because if I do my EpiPen what happens is you do it, you call the ambulance, they take you to the hospital for six hours. You're not getting released for six hours. And it's every single time. You might get it out an, er an hour early, but they wanna watch you so you don't flare up again. I've never had a flare up, so I have no idea why I suddenly have to go to the hospital. Apparently it's protocol now whenever you use an EpiPen. When I was little, they would check me out at school, send me home, didn't have to go to the hospital. So that's different. I really don't like it because they hit my IV wrong to where my entire arm swelled up. So I really don't like to go to hospitals for six hours at a time. But I've had allergies since God, I was born pretty much. The, the tree nut one came probably when I was three or four months old, but still, I don't know any different. So if you guys can't really grasp what I'm allergic to, I can't have milk chocolate. So no Reese's, no Kit Kats, no Hershey's, none of that. Can't have ice cream unless it's soy ice cream, which is okay, but there's not very many options. Um, can't have cake unless I make it, can't have cookies unless I make it, can't have cupcakes unless I make it, um, can't have pancakes unless I make it. I can't go to McDonald's and get an Egg McMuffin, because guess what? I can't have egg. Um, I can have peanuts because they're a legume, which means that they are related to peas and green beans because they grow underground. They're not a nut. Same with coconut. It's actually a fruit. It's not a nut. Um, and even though cashews come from a fruit, they're still a nut because they grow on a tree. So um, I also cannot have fruit. <laughs> um, I can have apples and strawberries in small quantities and grapes in small quantities. Um, it's pollen apparently. I, mean, I can't really explain why I'm allergic to fruit. My dad's allergic to fruit and it's any kind of fruit. I used to be able to have all the fruit I wanted and then I got older and it's like no, no fruit for you. So that's fun. I used to love watermelon. I can't have watermelon anymore. There are different types of reactions you can have. They can be deadly. They can be slowly deadly. Um, they can be really fast deadly. Uh, you can just get hives or you can get an upset stomach. With me, I get everything. So my milk on a scale seven is anaphylactic, meaning my throat will close. My milk is at a nine. 
So I can have butter, but I can't have anything else. And I can only have butter in small quantities. It's, it's getting better. And actually, I think it dropped down to a six three years ago. Um, but I'm still like, eh, I kind of range it because it's not totally accurate, even though it is a blood test. My egg is in the upper 60s and mid 70s for egg, egg white and yolk. So remember, seven is anaphylactic. So that is like, I don't even know what percentage over. I could do the math real quick, but I really don't feel like it. That's insane to me that I'm that allergic. Now here's the kicker, tree nuts, pistachios, almonds, walnut, pecans, all of that over a hundred. They are off the charts. So if they're cooked in house, like roasted for Christmas, I can't even be in the house. I have to be out of the house and I can't even come into the house 24 hours later after it's been ventilated. So you have to have fans going in every window in the house open. Um, eggs, I can't be in the same room. If I go to a different room, I'm fine. But if I'm in the kitchen with them, I can't do it. So there's a downside to that too. Fruit, I haven't really been specifically tested for fruit. I know I'm positive because they've tested me for orange and that came back like two, but it just makes my throat itch. It doesn't send me into anaphylaxis. Um, I won't get hives. I can have citrus on my body, that's fine. It's just when I eat it, my throat will start to itch and then I just drink a whole bunch of water and I'm fine. But if I were to eat an egg, which I accidentally did two years ago, um, if you saw that video, it's where I was taken by ambulance from work because I ate an egg. Um, it was in January, I think two years ago, but I ate a little bit of egg and within 30 minutes I was starting to go into anaphylaxis. So imagine if I ate a whole egg, that would have been instantaneous that I would have gone into anaphylaxis. But what happened was my stomach started hurting really, really bad and then I knew, I knew it was going down. I knew I would have had to do an EpiPen because it's an egg, but I was gonna wait it out. I took four Benadryl. They did not do anything. Usually within 30 minutes, I start to conk out and I just passed out because of the Benadryl. It wasn't working. So took that, was still working, went to sit in the back while my coworker was working for me. And all of a sudden, like I started getting antsy and there was this pain and I can't describe it because I don't know where it comes from. It just out of nowhere hits you and it's like, it's everywhere. Um, so dealt with the pain. And when I stood up, I started to feel off, like not tunnel vision, but all of a sudden like hot, cold flashes and felt like something was about to go down. So I'm like, okay, screw it. Kayla, which was my coworker at the time, I gotta do the EpiPen, called my boss, let him know I'm going to the hospital, called my mom, told her I just did an EpiPen and I just called the ambulance, they were on their way. So got taken from work to the hospital and if you wanna see what happened with that, you can watch that video, it's not very eventful because I was in and out of it because I was pumped of epinephrine and Benadryl all day. Um, but go watch that video. I will link it in the corner up here. Um, should come across. Click on it and watch it, please. It freaking got demonetized because I had, I almost died in the title. Whatever, YouTube and your stupidness. But that's not what this video is about. <laughs> I've had, God, at least 12 EpiPens in my entire life. I actually had to get twice one time because the, you're supposed to hold it in for 12 seconds. So this is one of the newer EpiPens that I have. It's cheaper on my insurance. Um, comes in a tube, pop it out. And they actually used to look like this, a lot like this back in the day. It's a skinny little tip. So I'm not gonna activate it because once it's activated, you, you gotta use it. Um, but you take off the blue cap, which I can pop off, that's fine. And you pull this out, which I won't do because it'll activate it and then you jab it into your thigh because it's automatic. So once it hits your thigh, then um, it automatically injects. So you don't have to worry about pushing anything. Back in the day, you used to have to push it. So I can't remember if this was an auto injector or one of the push ones. I think it was an auto injector, but what she did, you're supposed to hold it in for, what is it? 10 seconds, I usually say 12, just because you're counting fast. Um, so she stabs it in, and she pulls it out immediately. And I'm like, I'm just like seven. And I'm like, you have to do another one. You didn't administer anything. <laughs> so I just saw it drip all over my leg. And she's like, what, really? And I'm like, yes. 
So I had to get two in one leg because the other leg, I, I don't know why she did it. I just said, just do it next to the other one because two sore legs, I didn't want to deal with it. I'd just rather deal with one. Um, that happened. I've also had a, not an accidental, but a non-needed EpiPen before. Um, I was in, what was it? Fourth grade and I went down to the nurse cause something, I just didn't feel good. Took my temperature, nothing. Looked at my throat, nothing. Went back. As soon as I stepped in that classroom, my throat felt like it was closing. So I told my teacher, she's like, oh no, you're fine. I'm like, no, I need to go to the nurse. Like I'm going back. Um, went back down to the nurse and she said it looked like my throat was closing and did an EpiPen. Turns out it's just strep throat. So I got one that I didn't need. So that sucks, whatever. But um, these things are not, not fun and they're very expensive. Um, but it, it leaves a big old bruise on your leg, I'll tell you that. Um, I think the youngest I was ever having one is, I actually don't remember my first one. My first one was at an old abandoned mall here in Cincinnati called Cincinnati Mill. And it was when it was bustling and popular and awesome. Well, now there's nothing in it. Um, there used to be a pharmacy in it. So I think it, there was a Kroger like right attached to the mall. So I don't know what happened. My mom told me at one point, but I can't remember exactly what happened. Um, started going into anaphylaxis into the cart or in the stroller. And my mom left the EpiPen in the car and it was closer just to go to the pharmacy that was attached to the mall ran into the pharmacy, they handed, like nowadays this wouldn't happen, they gave my mom an, an EpiPen and she paid cash for it on the spot because back then it was like $80 and gave me an EpiPen. So that is my first one that I think I ever had. The second one, I can remember I was either three or four, maybe younger than that. Um, I was sitting at home, my dad had, what did he have? He had something where he was on really heavy medication and my mom left to go grocery shopping and I usually, I had pudding that I used to be able to have. Um, and my dad gave me my mom's pudding and I ate it. And back then my milk was probably in the upper thirties, forties, if not higher. And <laughs> anaphylaxis set in and thank God my mom got home like pretty much right after I finished it. And I had to do it every minute. I can remember my mom holding me, my dad walking out of the room, and my cousin Jennifer, who was helping my dad since he was so sick, watch me. Um, and she was holding me and right in the leg, and I can just remember screaming. I don't remember anything else from that. I just remember sitting on the counter getting that beep, and that sucked. How allergies are diagnosed is nowadays it's not trial and error. You actually get two types of tests. You can either get a prick test, which sucks because they dot your back in a chart and then they take this, it's about this big I think, and it's like a stamp and they take it and they dip it into all of these things that you're allergic to or testing to be allergic to and they stick it on your back. Well, back then my entire back was filled with tests and my entire back became a hive because guess what? I'm allergic to everything on that test. So you couldn't itch it for 30 minutes and I wanted to just find the nearest tree and rub up against it because my back itched so bad. Nowadays, it's nice and easy. They take blood out of your arm and they run it through a test and then you get the results on your, your chart and you can view that online, which is awesome because I could not do a prick test ever again. Um, that was the worst thing on this planet and I'm so glad they stopped doing those and I think they still do them in younger children because they don't sit still for a blood test, which sucks. I'm so sorry children of, of today that have to deal with that. Um, but yeah, my numbers are, are off the chart. I am going to wait another year. So next year I'm going to go back for another test because I go every four years to get a new test to see what my numbers are sitting at. And they're always like, why are you back here? And I'm like, because I want to see if my numbers moved. Like, <laughs> let's just see what's going on with my numbers here. Um, I actually used to be allergic to shellfish, but I grew out of it. Yay, I grew out of it. Oh God, I don't know, six years ago, I was in high school. So um, that's everything about my personal experience with allergies. If you guys deal with allergies on a day-to-day -day basis and you have to avoid stuff, let me down, know down in the comments below because I'd really like to know 
Um, it's a very interesting experience for myself and I just want to know if there's any other people out there that are like me besides my cousins because they're also allergic to stuff too. So thank you guys so much for watching. Tune in next week. I'm going to have another video out and toodles!